Hi, I'm Nate Myers. This is my video on artificial intelligence or AI for my Tech 1010 class at Utah Valley University. The definition according to our textbook for our course, Understanding Technology, is that artificial intelligence is something made or produced by human beings with the ability to require and apply knowledge and skills. The most common example of artificial intelligence in our everyday lives um, are used in our smartphones and in our smart home technology. Um, the first one we're going to go over is Siri, which was developed by Apple. Siri can look up facts, tell you the weather, play music from your phone, open apps, make calls, send text messages, and this is all done through voice prompts. Siri is by far well, not by far, but probably the most well-used and well-known artificial intelligence. Um, next is OK Google, developed by Google. Um, very similar to Siri, except more focused on the factual side of things. Obviously, it uses the best search engine in the world to find its data. Uh, next is Cortana. Cortana was developed by Microsoft. This AI is based off of an AI from a popular video game series called Halo. Um, it's not as well-developed as Siri or, or OK Google. Uh, but the voice acting is better. It pulls from an immense library of pre-recorded sentences rather than just pulling each word individually. And lastly is Alexa, which is probably the newest on the list. Alexa was developed by Amazon. Um, it can play music, answer questions, read audiobooks, provide support scores, control light switches, fans, and garages in your home if you have smart home enabled. Um, these are just a few examples of AI in our everyday lives, and hopefully, you know, as the years go on, technology improves and they can become even more autonomous and, um, you know, actually come up with their own decisions and make decisions and learn. Um, but as for now, they rely on voice prompts from us, um, but they can do amazing things and provide us with awesome information and just make life easier in general. Thank you.